Welcome to today's webinar, ITO, Therefore I Am, Building Your Career in IT Service Management. I would like to start by thanking you all for joining this webinar in cooperation with Global Knowledge. I am Connie Tai. I'm the Product Manager for ITO at ITpreneurs, which is a company that designs and provides competence building solutions for IT best practices. The goal of this webinar is to provide you with an in-depth explanation of the ITO framework and qualification scheme, some information on the employment trends for IT service professionals, and suggestion on how best to prepare yourself to go through the qualification scheme. I'm really delighted to have Alexander Hernandez as our speaker of today. Alex is one of the few ITIL masters in the world. Actually, he's the third person in the world to get this qualification. He's also a fellow in service management granted by the PRISM Institute. Alex is currently a senior manager within the service excellence practice at Accenture, whose mission is to improve client outcomes through the practice of service management and the ITIL service lifecycle. Alex has more than 20 years of professional experience in numerous high-end engagements involving business process transformations in the areas of organizational transformation, ISO IEC 20000, ISO IEC 27001, change, business continuity, incident, problem, information security, capacity management, and other ITO process areas. Alex was instrumental in developing and launching one of the first MBA and Masters of Science program in the U.S. with a concentration in IT service management at the University of Dallas. And he has been author and co-author of many publications, including one of the first self-study books for IT service management foundations based on ITO. He is currently authoring the international publication for TSO and TITO ISO IEC 20000 and ITO, a practical handbook, and is also contributing to the ITO and Cloud International publication. He also served as the ITSMF Dallas Fort Worth Local Interest Group President. The presentation section of this webinar will be approximately 40 minutes long with time left for questions and answers in the remaining time. At this point, I would like to hand over to Alex. Enjoy your session. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to attend this session. From personal experience, ITIL certification has opened many doors for me. It actually gave me many opportunities with very successful organizations in implementing very complex service management programs. It will also help you and open doors for you and many job opportunities for you. So the topics we're going to discuss today include the ITIL framework and qualification scheme, ITIL service lifecycle and capability tracks, employment trends for IT service professionals, preparing for the qualification scheme, and the return on investment for certification. So developing successful IT professionals. In today's competitive job market, IT professionals need not only exhibit strong technical skills, but they also must possess strong problem solving skills, business acumen, acumen and skills and competencies in IT management and personal effectiveness. Service management is one of the core skills and competencies in strong demand today in this tough economy. It is important to understand how service management integrates with the other competencies in IT management, which include cloud, IT governance, solution development and delivery, process improvement, project and program management, and business analysis. Also, you need to understand what enabling technologies and technical competencies exist that will assist in automating and effectively implementing 
the IT management function in the areas of service management. In addition, we cannot overlook the importance of the people side of successful implementations, which takes into account the personal effective competencies of integrity, coaching, planning, ethics, teamwork, and priority management. So aligning IT best practices, frameworks, and standards with required competencies per domain and per role. So each of the IT management competencies mentioned earlier can be supported by numerous industry practices, standards, methods, and frameworks. So if you look from left to right, the enterprise strategy is supported by IT governance and strategy, which includes frameworks such as COBIT, Control Objectives for IT, TOGOF, the Open Group Architecture Framework, ISO 20000 standard for information security management, the Extensible Business Reporting Language, XBRL. Then you have Cloud, which is having a significant impact to many organizations, especially on how we apply service management and the impact Cloud is having on service management. Solution Development and Deployment, this includes CMM, Capability Maturity Model, Testing, the Agile and Scrum methods and approaches. Then you have Service Management, which is supported by ITIL, the Information Technology Infrastructure Library, ISO 20000, International Standard for Service Management, Capno Trago, a problem solving method, technique, ASL, Application Service Library, and the Business Information Services Library, which is BISL. Then you have Process Improvement, which is supported by TIPA, an internationally recognized framework for IT process assessments within organizations, Six Sigma, Lean. Then you have Project and Program Management, PMBOK, the Project Management Body of Knowledge, MSP, Managing Successful Programs, and PRINCE2, another form of project management methodology. And then you have the uh, Certified Business Analyst Profession under Business Analysis. So again, ITIL is a de facto framework in IT service management. As you'll see, there's been rapid adoption of ITIL over the past seven years, with almost 40% of organizations using ITIL practices in some form or fashion, according to a computer economics study performed in 2011. And the advent of cloud it's causing us to look at ITSM with a different lens. So what is the ITIL framework? Well, the latest version of ITIL is comprised of five books. It is the IT infrastructure library. And it's focused on a service, taking a service life cycle approach. It is the de facto framework for IT service management. It offers a globally accepted and proven set of leading practices, processes, and roles spanning the, the IT enterprise. ITIL is based on over 20 years of research and development focused on business organization models and best practices in the IT industry from the experience of leading practitioners in hundreds of organizations managing thousands of projects throughout Europe, Asia, and North America. So what does ITIL do? Well, so to summarize this succinctly, it provides guidance on process execution. It provides a complete service lifecycle approach versus a functional approach and process approach. It provides a common international language across IT organizations. It supports IT regulatory compliance initiatives such as SOX. It complements other standards and practice which include COBIT, the ISO 27001 Information Security Standard, and the ISO 20000 Service Management Standard. It provides professional recognition and certification for individuals. And companies can pursue ISO 20000 certification, and ITIL helps extend and complement in assisting organizations in knowing what they need to do to help achieve ISO 20000 certification. So what are the benefits for adopting ITIL organizations? Well, probably the biggest benefit achieved by adopting ITIL is strong business IT integration 
and creating an environment of continual service improvement and operational excellence, resulting in increased employee, end user, and client satisfaction. It's also, keep, it's also important to keep in mind that it's not just a hard ROI that's important of you know, reducing costs, but also the soft ROI elements, which include customer satisfaction and employee satisfaction. Those are just as important as the hard ROI elements. And it helps also align with COBIT and the International Standard for Service Management, ISO 20000, and the International Standard for Information Security Management, ISO 27000. So the ITIL qualification scheme, as you can see presented here, there's different tracks you can take. The foundation track is really at the base level this is what you initially start with and this is worth two credits then you go down the, then you go up the intermediate track which includes the life cycle modules and the capability modules and that'll assist you get to the ITIL expert track once you get some a certain amount of credits from combination of life cycle capability and ITIL foundations in addition to the mandatory managing across the life cycle that will assist you get to ITIL expert credentialing, the advanced credentialing. And that's a total of 22 credits that you need to get to ITIL expert. Then you have the ITIL master, which is the highest credentialing you can get, certification you can get within ITIL. And to be eligible for the ITIL master, you must meet the following entry criteria. You must have obtained your ITIL expert. You have to have worked in IT service management for at least five years in a leadership, managerial, or senior management advisory role. Plus, you, you must ensure that you have an extensive knowledge and practical hands-on of ITIL experience to demonstrate the active involvement in the implementation of service management. In addition, it is a critical requirement that candidates provide sufficient evidence of their role in the assignment, assignments and proof that they carried out these tasks when implementing service management. So the, the value of ITIL training. Well, at the foundation level, a, a big value is that everybody speaks a common language and has a basic understanding of, of ITIL. So everybody's on the same page regarding basic concepts, terminology, language, benefits, and concepts. At the intermediate level, this provides more in-depth, it's more practical core competencies, practical implement, implementation of service management, it provides in-depth knowledge of specific ITIL areas and core competencies on how-to training, on how to best implement service management. Then managing across the life cycle is very specific to content application integrated knowledge. It really focuses on the integrated approach to service management. How do all these processes and service life cycles within ITIL integrate and work together? And at the expert level, we have to, you have to be able to apply ITIL in an integrated manner to support the business and provide value. And at the master level, you have to demonstrate significant experience in service management implementation. And the value is you get significant knowledge in this, on, on applying the principles and techniques of ITIL and it helps extend ITIL and in integrate your wisdom in implementing service management beyond the ITIL framework and integrating with other frameworks such as ISO, well, standards such as ISO 20000, other approaches such as COVID, etc. So, why become an ITIL expert? Well, it can further career progression and development, it can help improve your job performance. It helps improve credibility and status in your profession and it also can help increase your base salary and there will be a slide that we'll be discussing on the importance and how it can help support in increasing your base salary by providing you a premium to your base salary. Now there are two distinct tracks to the certification. You have the life cycle track and the capability track. In the life cycle track you have five books there, the five ITIL books, which include service strategy, service design, service transition, service operation, and continual service improvement. And the capability track is, is uh, in reference to 
the uh, release control and validation, operational support and analysis, source oper offerings and agreements, planning, protection and optimi optimizing. Those are more hands-on. And both of these require classroom and online hours, as you can see in the slide. 10 days of classroom time for life cycle, 12 days of classroom time for the capability modules, and they both require 55 hours online self-study. And again, a combination of these with the mandatory Manage Across Lifecycle and ITO Foundations give you a total of 22 credits. You need total 22 credits to get the ITO Expert certification. So in the ITO Service Lifecycle and Capability Tracks, you'll see here we have the Expert Program Lifecycle Track and the ITO Expert Program Capability Track. Now the life cycle track is really targeted for the professional who seeks a leadership role requiring a broad management focus of ITO practice across teams. The audience would include an IT manager, process owner, ITS implementer, ITO consultant. The capability track is targeted for the professional looking to gain intense specialized process level knowledge in one or more processes such as a focus on day-to-day -day execution of ITO practices. The audience would include process manager, operational staff, process consultant, IT practitioners. So employment trends for IT service professionals. So according to the US government report, the technology employment trends are at an all-time high, averaging a year-over-year -year gain of 2.1%. The technology job sector has weathered the bad economic storm through this, through this impressive recovery he has made since the onset of the economic crisis. The Bureau of Labor Statistics measures the technology industry by looking at three areas. R&D sector, the research and development sector, computer design, and management and technology consulting services. The first chart on the left side of the slide, upper, upper left hand corner, depicts the unemployment rate from 2008 to the present day. And the charts that follow demonstrate the growth in the tech sector during the same period. One thing to note, the bottom right hand chart, you see a, a significant uptick in hiring within management and technology consulting firms. So having this ITO credential will significantly assist you in getting some great opportunities with some high-end consulting companies. So employment trends for IT professionals. If you look at the job market, if you search any jo major job search engine like Career, Career Builder, Monster.com, and Dice, and use ITIL as your keyword, you will get an average of 1,200 plus jobs in each of those search engines, and that's only in North America. This further demonstrates the importance of service management experience coupled with ITIL certification. The ITIL Foundation and the ITIL Practitioner certifications are good certifications for getting into entry-level service management opportunities. So when preparing for the qualification scheme, you can get the ITIL expert through numerous ways. We talked about the life cycle modules, capability modules, and you need a total of 22 credits to get to ITIL expert. The managing across the life cycle and foundations are mandatory certifications. The other ones you can mix and match. And there are also some complementary products that allow you to get up to six credits of uh, electives that can go towards this 22 credits. And those can include, for example, the service catalog certification and some other certifications out there. If you look on the official ITIL website, they'll, they'll list the other complementary products out there to support certification. The legend on, on the left side just gives you indication what those acronyms stand for, for the life cycle modules and capability modules. So return on investment. So ITO provides a premium 8 to 13 percent added to your base pay when holding the ITO certification. And it will probably be higher percentage if you have the ITO expert and ITO master certification. More importantly, combining some of these sought out certifications further increases your chance of a good base 
pay premium. Also keep in mind it's not just a hard ROI of base pay, but there is also some soft ROI such as increased employee morale, improved credibility with clients when consulting and service management, especially if you hold ITIL Master certification, increased employee productivity, which results in improved process execution at the organization, increased job opportunities, and mobility within the job market. So the ITIL certification can be a life-changing event. It can actually open significant doors for you and opportunities and also make you a better employee and resource to your organization. And these are just some of the testimonials here regarding um, the value that many have placed on the ITIL expert certification. Thank you.